we've got Black Mirror 2 uh, and 3. Uh, I have both of them because Steam had a beautiful sale so I could finally um, get the other games. I liked that loading screen. 1969, the year we went to the moon. Yeah, these graphics are definitely a lot nicer. <gasps> yes! That house with the giant skull at the entrance. You know, like all normal houses have. <laughs> Um, Where are you? Wait, what? Who are you? Oh wait, is this a flashback? Is this like the fire? I don't remember what year the first game took place, so 1969 doesn't mean much to me yet. Samuel? Are you there? Please, say something! Hi! Oh, God! <gasps> Girl! No. There you are. Where have you been? I... I've been looking for you. You promised you wouldn't just disappear anymore. I've been looking all over for you. Ow! What, what's wrong with you? I don't know who you are. I don't know my own husband. You disappear every night. You only talk when it's absolutely necessary. Where is the man that I married, Samuel? Girl. I want my husband back! Girl, you need to leave. <gasps> what have I done? What? What? What the hell have I done? Oh no! I, I didn't want this! No! No! <laughs> well, you shouldn't have been possessed by some weird evil thing. But wait, where we ended the first game, he like kills himself because he realizes he's the monster, right? chapter okay okay yeah I actually don't know how they are continuing it get on with it stick the damn fuse back in I want to open the store Ooh. when there's a new diary entry the corresponding symbol will flash at the top left of the screen you can open the diary via the indicator or by using either the D or the J key. Semester break in Bedford. Oh, so I'm like a youngin. Get the power on. Power's gone down in the store, probably the fuse. Everything's just junk in this building, but Fuller doesn't seem to be inclined to invest even a single dollar in it. Okay. Oh my god. Who would want to be photographed in front of that backdrop? Well, maybe it was the trend. Once. Uh, I would totally get hmm. photographed in Let's front of that see. backdrop. A few plastic containers, bottles and boxes, light bulbs, cables, grease. Uh-huh. And a small carton of fuses. Oh. 
Hopefully the fuses work. You never know in this place. The fuse! The fuse, man! Open your eyes! Okay. An old clothes dummy. Oh, judging by the smell, it's been damp at some point. Now it's just moldering away. Okay, wait. So, my inventory? Is that still in my diary? Uh Okay, so wait, I have a fuse. A beer crate with 24 bottles. Mm, an ancient rusted bucket. That rickety pallet is blocking my view of the lower shelves. I can't see what's behind there. Move it? Photo developer. Looks like it's been there for a while, but the bottle still. Yeah, take it. Oh, duh. Okay, so. Fuller will hardly miss it, and even if, I can live with it. You think you'll be done today? How long does it take to install a new fuse? Ah, uh, a minute. Where do I? A light shaft with a grill. Put it. Leads up to the backyard. The... An old garden hose. Okay, oh, oh, there's a fuse. Oh my god, duh, it's like right there. An old dust encrusted fuse box. There are a lot of wires coming out of the top of it, which then run along the floor joists. <laughs> oh, okay, then. Probably isn't safe. Am I gonna die Just immediately? Like everything else of Fuller's. Pretty well junk. The blown fuse must be under here. Huh. Fuller's already had a go at it. But it... The three other fuses look fine. But this... I should throw that away. Otherwise I'll get mixed up. Now all I have to do is put a good fuse. Now all I have to do is... Well, yeah. Do I have to... Hmm. There's just one fuse left oh. in the box. Right click. But at least it looks unused. Whoop. Ah, oh, that's that. Now all we need is some power. Wait, I didn't put the cover back on. Everything looks okay. Okay, so let's go. Let there be light. Okay. Don't need this anymore. Cool. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. I'll leave it here in case the power drops out again. And that can only be a matter of time looking at the fuse box. Interesting. Batted paint can. There's not as much dust on the floorboards here. They're almost shiny, in fact. So to... Interesting. Oh. It's a lot of ropes to examine. If I want to look at awful pictures, then I can do it upstairs in the store. So I'm just, I'm curious, because this is a bit different from the previous game. If Fuller had a garden he wanted to water, he could do it from here. But in Fuller's garden, you'd get pretty well nothing to grow. Oh. The hinges on the basement grill are rusted. I don't want to open the grill. I don't want to open the grill. I don't want to open the grill. But I want to open the grill. <laughs> I wouldn't accept it as a a timeless plane. I'm not going to touch any lint. Okay, so wait, do I have to go through all the Dr. Rainbow's finest pearly? I don't think I can recall having seen one. 
Some photo of a, some photo of a beach. Some photo of. A... Yeah, I'm going upstairs. <laughs> That's a cool function, though. That's good to know for all so the times I get up. Uh, a stuck. A wonderful working day awaits, full of appreciation and deep personal fulfillment. Ugh. Come on, be more likable than the last guy. You make a big deal about going to college, but you're too sappy to replace a fuse. Sappy? Put that board outside in front of the store. Get on with it! The store isn't doing very well. I don't think a cheap sign is going to change that. <sighs> but what the hell? Yeah, it's your job. We'll do it. is my specialty. Wonderful. So let's get started. My name's Angela. Oh, I'm Darren. Let's go inside. Will I end up murdering you? Also, I like how close we are to the water. photography store. What can I do for you? Oh god, no, why are you so creepy? I wanted to get some portraits done. Very good. Also, why are you but so I much quieter? Would... What? But he's just an errand boy. A pretty child like you deserves a real photographer. Here, go and pick up the post and take this letter to Mrs. Biba in the diner in the main square. I've got things to do. Boy, do not leave this girl alone. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You make up a- No! Son of a- you should have made up an excuse. I'm concerned for that girl's safety. God. Can I just I go back go in? in? Until I've done no! Jobs for him. He'd lay into me right in front of Angelina. And I'd like to avoid that if possible. But yeah, but he's like gonna to be like fast. group. She can see what group. an is. He's gonna be like really creepy. Uh. Okay, wait. I completely ignored where he said to go because all I was thinking of it was like, do not leave that girl alone. Well, come on. Come on in. Take a look around. Buy something. Uh, thanks. Ah, a young man. You a soldier? Um... A bit slow on the uptake. Have you served? Sir. No, sir. Ah, so you want to put me on, do you? Find something for yourself and then beat it. Taking it, this is not one of the places I need to be. Fair. Oh, oh. Package from the mail. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, I guess the promenade is where I should be going. Double click on the interactive game elements will launch the corresponding action immediately. And then I said to him, oh. Jason, I need a new car, urgently. Oh yeah, and then? What can I say? It's parked right outside. You can't be serious. Sure I'm being serious. Yeah, oh, a convertible. Tall girl, Wait, you're what? just gonna have to show me later. Oh yes, there's no way I'm not going to do that. Huh. 
every pot. Here's a form from the makeup. And in this weather. You lying. And what did he do? Well, he just left her sitting there. Um, excuse me? Wow. Have you got something wrong with your ears? No, I just wanted a package. Hmm. Something wrong with your eyes then? Huh? Listen, I'm talking here. Can't you see that? Yeah. Yeah, I can but see you're also at work. Day, unfortunately. But, but I have to collect a package for Fuller at the photo store. There'll be no line jumping in this store. You're online, okay? Ugh, the young kids today. Uh, hello? Might I get served here? Of course. Just as soon as I'm through with this customer. And that will be when? When she's lying on the floor with blood streaming out of her ears? Well, really? I'll serve the lady for as long as I see fit. We uh, spell service with a capital Yeah, F. I can see that. Ugh, the young kids today. Always. Now, perhaps always Mrs. Superficial is familiar with Bad angles. Bad parents, or that's maybe what it is. Not. Now, so tell me, perhaps Mrs. What's Superficial... happening with your new car uh, there? Can I just, like, throw stuff at her? So little cute. White. What In more could the beautiful tourist... red and all the best upholstery and everything. Oh, you earned it. Oh, you. We'll take a little spin later. Where is it, then? It's parked right outside the shop. Ooh, then we can go for a ride on my lunch break. But isn't that still a way off? I'm not so interested in So what is going on with Fork Truck Pete and that sister, uh, what's her face? Uh, not the sister. The worst. That's Matt's cousin, that's who. You're the um, worst. I thought she was... I think I'd rather my hand... And then I said to him, Jason, I need a new car. Those are banners urgently. and flags. Oh, yeah. And then? The main state flag? It's parked right so outside. So what have we got here? You and can't of be course, serious. the oblique. Sure, I'm being serious. A convertible. A totally stand cute. displaying it. Girl, you're just the gonna clock have must to be show busted. me later. Oh, yes. There's no way I'm not going to do that. There's a few papers here. And in this weather, I would imagine that the enchanting lying. Rosie might do? possibly have. Well, he just. I would imagine that there. the enchanting. Uh, you should <laughs> take it anyway. Well, she didn't deserve anything better. But that's not all. You joking? There's more? Yeah. Now get this. But can I like spill this on you? That'd be great. A small container of photo Fort developer Trump from Fuller. just can't afford that kind of thing. Hey, it's me, okay? Now, and I'm telling you, Mrs. Superficial she saw him is familiar himself. with angles. But surely well, maybe she's a Nirvana look as fan. Cute as my new convertible. Well, hardly. Talking of which, uh... weren't we going to go for a little ride? Yeah, I'm about to have my lunch break. Ah, uh, yeah. And what did this your Jason stupid. say to that? As long as the he doesn't know a thing about it yet. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go try girl. to find whatever the other no, place is then. Who's... Uh... Oh. Oh, okay. This is the map. I'm here. Okay, so I probably have to have gone to the places. A young woman. Are you sad um, because of that person who's okay? inside and sucks? No, it's not actually. Um. Carrie died here two years ago. She was my best friend. Oh. oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, how did it happen? You're well, not from around here. No, uh, I'm from Boston. I'm spending the semester break at, at my mother's. Yes. Well. Completed, not success. committed. No one knows the play. Everyone loved her. She was intelligent. A little bit of an educational tidbit. If you don't say committed, say completed, because committed implies wrongdoing. Uh, and that's yes, not. Yes, I know that picture. 
a really not appreciated by some folks because then if anyone is like looking for help or wanting to talk about something like that um if you say commit uh because of like that negative connotation it's implying that you think that they are in the wrong which then makes them less likely to open up to you and no one knows why? No one. Jason has never gotten over. He couldn't help her. A few months later, he married a brainless bimbo with a convertible. He probably just felt so lonely. It's definitely nothing to do with love. <laughs> he must have been really lonely. Wait, is that the lady who's in the I'd rather be in the shop? Uh, of course. I'm sorry. Also, that lady's car is right here. Can I just like push it into the ocean? Because that would be amazing. That car belongs to the world record talking lady from the shop. Hmm. Could be useful. Yeah, push it into the ocean. Hello, is it something like my turn now? Please, don't let me rush you. <sighs> oh, what do you want? I'm supposed to collect something for Fuller. From I want you to studio. do your dang Collection job. Now? Oh, how dare I? <laughs> this is the one right here. Have you still got another note? There's another package for Fuller here. <laughs> Uh, afraid not. Can I take it anyway? Hmm. I might turn a blind eye for nice customers. So you're not gonna give it to me then? Hell no! You're such a stupid person and I hate you. I really just want a poor photo developer on you. Hey, Rosie. Hard at work, I see. What do you want? Uh... Hey, Rosie. Uh, did you know Carrie, Jason's first wife? Of course I knew her. I know everyone in Biddeford. At the end of the day, Biddeford. this is the only post office. And what was she like? What's that got to do with you? I just wanted to chat a little. Well, we never spoke too much. She was always so quiet. No comparison with Juliet. At least with her, you can have a decent conversation. Jason's so lucky he got her now. Sure that about really that? wasn't a lie for a guy like Jason. With someone like that dragging him down, now, at least he's got a life. Ah, so lucky. Just between you and me, one shouldn't speak ill of the dead. But that Carrie, she was always a little strange. Uh-huh. Yeah, but it's also you talking, so I don't trust that. Hey, uh, do you know Eddie from the junk shop? Yeah, sure. I know pretty well everybody here. So what's going on with him? He's single. Was never married before either, as far as I know. But hey, who could put up with him for long anyway? Those never-ending war stories? Can you imagine that? Is he really blind? I never heard different, but I wouldn't put money on it either. He's a chiseler. Maybe he's got disability just so he can make a himself chiseler? a few bucks. I've never heard that term. There's a really pretty young lady I've seen walking around here. Uh, do you know her? Mmm, you had a real good look at her, didn't you? Do you know her? Well, I wouldn't say no. 
She came in here and asked about a photo studio, so I sent her up to Fuller's. She interrupted a conversation I was having with a friend. Can you believe that? Ha! <laughs> no way! I don't believe it. <laughs> what brings someone like her, or maybe even you, here to Biddeford? Someone like me? You mean a fat woman in a state full of fitness freaks? You're one charming kind of guy, aren't you? I, I no, didn't say no. any of that. I meant, why would someone as unfriendly as you work in a town tour shop of all places? Well, you ain't exactly a picture of politeness yourself. But I don't work in a tourist shop either. Okay, look. I grew up in New Jersey. My father didn't think the neighborhood was good for me or my brothers and sisters. So he got himself a job in a paper mill and dragged us all up here. Satisfied with that? And you just weren't able to get yourself a job in construction or driving a truck? Look. You shouldn't go trying to take on someone like me. You're punching way above your weight, son. Huh. <laughs> I can't deny that. Wow. Is there maybe a package for me there, uh, Darren Michaels? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the lovely Rosie hasn't noticed, and I'm now the proud owner of a blank collection note. Nope, nothing there. What? But I thought... I can't think of anything I can do. Okay. Well, I guess I'll... Yeah, I guess I'll exit. A blank collection note for a package. If I fill it. Yeah, but do I have a pen? A do that? Collection. A, a blank collection. No? A well-sealed package. Not very heavy. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll go to Mrs. Viva. And if I have to wreck that lady's car again, I will. An angel. Mm. I just want a pen. A real efficient line. It seems to be. Oh. Only the line, I'm afraid. No hook. Wait. That's the cage for Fuller's mother's dog. But the dog is usually in the house. At least I've Okay, never seen good. I was gonna cage. say this looks like a horrible cage. Hmm. The water bowl is completely dry. Why? I don't know why I'm taking this stuff. <laughs> Gave me an option. Really rusted bucket. A solid iron grill. Uh, I don't feel like I need this yet. I need to get to. Uh, road to the main square. What? Huh. This is kind of a cute little town. Uh. Police station. Viva! Okay. Bubblegum machine? Yes. Seems such an old bubblegum belongs to the diner. It's getting really dark. Oh wait, is this that same lady's car? Yeah, just down the street. Thanks a lot. You look mysterious. 
Why are you looking at me? Why are you shoulder checking me? Some people. Rude. That's Mrs. Biba. Oh, Biba. That's fine. Um, excuse me. Why did you go right all there. the way away <laughs> away from her? <laughs> what can I get you, my boy? Actually, I'm I'm here to give you something. It's it's from Fuller in the photo store. Psst. Hey, come over here. I like this uh, wall mount of the lobster with the spears. I can guess what this is about. The dirty old swine. I should have known. Ooh, are these blackmailing photos? Get rid of. Tell him I... <sighs> uh, you better tell him yourself. Uh, whatever it is. You... Claire! You gonna talk all day? The customers are waiting! Get out of here. And tell your boss he can go to hell. Okay, yeah. I love being in the middle of other people's situations. Jeez. What was that all about then? She <laughs> sure didn't seem to be a fan of Fuller's. I got that much. And the guy in the kitchen, he sure wasn't supposed to see that she had mail. Yeah. Uh, Hi, doctor. A white lab coat. In his 40s, I'd say. Could be a doctor. I mean, with this getup, I would kind of assume that, yes, he's a doctor. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go. Hello, young man. You're Darren Michaels, aren't you? Yes. Yes, and you are? Oh, excuse me. My name is Newhouse. I'm a doctor at the health center. <laughs> at the health center? You mean at the hospital out there? Well, yes. We call it the Biddeford Health Center. We, we aren't just a hospital. We have yoga courses and cookery courses and... And what do you want from me? Ooh. I, I'm into yes, that. I, I know your mother, Darren. We had a date here this morning, to be more precise. Me and her. We wanted to hang up some pictures your mother painted in the health center. Aww. Yes. And... She, she's not there. She's normally always, she's always punctual, isn't she? This kind of thing never happens. Look, I don't have a lot of time right now. I'll give her a call, okay? As soon as I'm back in the store. It, maybe she's forgotten about your little meeting, Doc. If you say so, but actually... I gotta go. I'll call Mom later and Wait, tell her can't, that you're Wait, shouldn't you be more concerned you, about your mother? The health center. Goodbye. Why? I would be deeply concerned. I'd be like, my mom made plans? Yeah, I know she's normally punctual. This is concerning. Let me drop what BS I'm doing and go uh, try to chat with my mom. Um... That's the entrance to the police station. Okay. Well, I just don't have... He's sick. That disgusting pig. Yeah, what did he do What's to you? What's going on? Your lovely boss. Does he always try to grow his Bro, I was even thinking no. that he was going to try Only that. the women. That's not funny. It's not. Uh, no, of course not. <laughs> what can I say? I mean, I know this is pre-Me Too movement, asshole. but like... Well, ugh. he's never going to see me again. Of course. My pleasure. I'm staying at the What are these sound levels? Why are they so quiet? You'll have them Like the people are really quiet, but the background is so loud. See you later. Um again. Guy from the diner. He 
Is he following Angelina? Be concerned. Hey, you're gonna gawk her ass right off. Whatever the bitch said, it's all a dirty pack of lies. I mean, one, it's not, and two, sure. can you go That's protect order. that girl who's now being stalked by someone? Hey, you got the package? Yep. Well then, give it to me. How'd the photo shoot go? Ah, uh, shut up. I only mean the young lady who... That alley cat's gone, okay? No little goodbye kissy for little Darren. Ugh, so the worst. The shelves here could use Can I be the, the surprise room. killer again and take my mama's dogs for a walk. Kill like half these Go people. Back to the post office <laughs> again and ask if the new photo papers already arrived. The mailman still has brought a collection note. And the store could also do with a good sweeping. He's cranky. I guess Angelina did a number on his ego. Nice job. Okay then. Before I start with all that stuff, I'd better give Mom a quick call and remind her she was going to take the pictures to the hospital. And somehow I've got to get a hold of the film so I can make some prints of Angelina's pictures without Fuller catching me doing it. Oh, also, do I have a... Yeah. Save. New entry. The best of names. Okay. So, film. So I have to find the film. <laughs> oh, I uh, need to pick up his order too. Uh, the picture frames could do with being a little more professionally presented. Fuller's camera. The film, but I haven't a clue how I'm gonna get the film out of it without Fuller noticing. <laughs> the postcards all show scenes from many of the things here are overpriced, but that's obvious. There's only one photo. Hmm. <laughs> I like replace my SLR camera fitted with a flash, too. But, like, what if? You swapped the cameras? Full as camera, but I haven't a clue. Okay, no. So I have... Hmm. Hmm. With that water in the bucket, it's only a matter of time until it's completely run. What if I did that? No? The dog bowl from Fuller's backyard. I can't combine those? Can't put water in the dog bowl? Okay. Hmm. This is creepy. This little situation up here of these mannequin heads up on that top shelf. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Very creepy. Um. I need a pen to fill out the sting. A blank, a blank collection note for a pack. Yeah, you, you filled fill it out. out. Do you I have a pen? A oh, telephone <gasps> and the pen. Great. Ooh, that's huh. concerning. Seems like she's on the phone. What the hell are you doing using my phone? While you're on the clock, I'm gonna take it out of your Yeah, yeah, whatever. Look, I just wanted to call my mother, but it was busy. It's not gonna make you go bust. <laughs> that broad spends the whole day on the phone, right? She already called up once while I was shooting that Some drivel about Adrian and a mirror. I hung up. 
I got better things to do than listen to that kind of crap. My mother called, and you didn't tell me? Right? Thanks, the dude. lady's not all there in the head anymore, huh? Where are you going? You're not on your own time yet. Oh, I should have grabbed the pen first. Mom? What? Mom! Mom! Uh, call ambulance. Okay, think, Darren. I need an ambulance. Oh, wait, but the phone part is... Okay, it's right there. Emergency? Yes. My name is Darren Michaels. I, I, I've just found my mother. She's unconscious. Five minutes later. Take it to the hospital, but take it real easy. I'll be following in my car in a minute. Wait, How take it, it real easy? Difficult to say, Dan. Like, don't rush? She must have stumbled, and now she's got a serious head injury. Oh, head injury. Exactly how oh, bad God. it is. We can only find that out in the hospital. But, but how can she fall so badly that she... It's not the time for that now. W was your mother taking any kind of medication? Uh, I, I don't know. She always has a load of painkillers for her back. It, it, no idea. Please, collect anything that looks like medication and bring it back to me in the hospital. What about allergies? Not that I know about. That's not good enough. Could you find out the family doctor's number? Perhaps get a hold of her medical records. Yeah, yeah, I'll go look. I'll see you in the hospital. Very good. Eve. Oh, yeah. And we need your mother's insurance card. <laughs> America. That too? Okay, please, can you hurry? We need her insurance card, not that it will make any kind of difference. Med. Medication, insurance card, med history. I better hurry. It looks like. Uh. The cup is still half full. Why did she stand up and go over there? Maybe the phone rang? Maybe she got some bad news and. Little cupboard. Oh, that's the only thing? Okay. Mom's into music. That's one thing we have in common. Uh. Mom's handbag. All her papers must be in there. Okay, go investigate. All right, I found the insurance card. Good. There's nothing else of interest in there. Yeah. You can earn your own money? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but also she might just like want her bag. It might have other stuff in there. My mother's old bureau. That's where she keeps her letters and financial papers and such. Yeah, but you might need a plant on the windowsill. A pot no idea plant. What kind it is? Okay, so you you're that kind of mom. Mom likes thrillers and horror stories. Good. Mainly old stuff, Edgar Allan Poe and the like. Perhaps it has something to do with her time in England. She's often. Oh, she worked, she, in she worked in a castle. castle. That. Could well have come straight out of one of these books. I think the furniture is still from her time in England. Quite old. Yeah, like I would love what this room. Here? Handkerchiefs, a glasses case, an art magazine, a few Valerian draggies. Hmm. What is a Valerian draggie? Ah, my mother's address book. I ought to find her doc. Sweet. Um, and then I had to find something else. Uh, yeah, I need to get that. 
medication. That's right. Wait. I don't think I'll find anything interesting in that. My mother's old bureau. That's where she. Mom's bathroom. But pills are probably in here. Aha, some medicines. That's a lot of medicines. Even though that's quite a lot of drugs, I don't think it's everything. There must be. I had a shower here. I ate something for her sake. Huh. I, I ate some toothpaste. Hmm. I, I ate some. <gasps> that lighthouse! Underneath, perhaps it's from the place in England where she lived. Is she? Oh, wait, who are you then? Who are you from the first game? Okay, I took your teapot. My mother keeps a pot. A few pots, a shallow bowl. Why am I stealing this stuff? <laughs> That's where mom indulged herself. True, I've never... Oh my god! There really is running water here. Oh, hush up. Should I be like... Oh my god. No. Cool. The kettle's full. I don't know why, but um... Great. That's mom's medicine. She always used it, but she never. T I always found it rather stupid not to take your medicine. Yeah, but like, take it, because that could be useful. Alright. Oh, what? Oh. Okay. This medication and the stuff. Okay. But like. The address book is locked. What? Mom would be mad at me if I wrecked it. She must have a key. Ah, uh, Mom. There are pictures of me and Mom. And when I, that was the only time I've ever seen her. Mom watched whales with this telescope. Uh, this is a whale region. Uh, the whales swim past oh, here twice a year. Oh, that's right. I, j I just was picturing it's like telescopes look at the sky. A nice, a nice one. But Quite yeah, classical. that makes sense. You're you can actually see other things. So never mind. It's a beautiful lamp. We've already just had a... Hmm. Aha! It's a little brasky. And that's got the address book open. Sweet. Now then, what was that doctor called? Dr. Wakefield. That's him. And here's his number. I just hope he's still got my mother's old medical records. Yeah, that's, uh, important. Laura, I'm missing, like, all of my medical records. It's really a problem. Hopefully the number's still okay. Dr. Wakefield, 555. Dr. Wakefield's practice? My name's Darren Michaels. I, I have to speak to the doctor. It's an emergency. One moment, please. Dr. Wakefield speaking. Uh, hello, Dr. Oh, Wakefield. Oh, you have a villainous this is voice. Darren, Michaels. <laughs> Darren, is there something wrong with your mother? Mandy said. Yes, she's been taken to the hospital. She's fallen over and, and taken a knock to the head. She's not responsive. My god. The hospital needs her medical history. Do you still have it? Yes, yes, we must. 
must still have it here. C can you fax it over to the hospital? Yes, of course. Hopefully nothing's happened to her back. Wouldn't the support corset protect her? Not necessarily. What? The corset supports her spine when she's standing up or sitting, but her back has been so badly affected since the accident that a fall can have repercussions. I don't think I want to know. I'll just go down to the hospital and find out there. Do that. I'll have the records sent to Biddeford. I hope your mother gets well soon. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Give her my best wishes as soon as she's awake. I'll do that. See you later, Doc. Well, that's done. Dr. Wakefield has always cared well for Mom. With that back of hers, she could barely stand, sit, or lie down without causing her pain. Eesh. And then she has the burns as well. And now this. Wait, is... Anna my mom? Am I the main guy from the first game's son? Uh, okay. Well, I guess we'll find that out next time. Uh, see you then. Shout out and thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Thank you! If you'd like to support the show, check out my Patreon page and my Redbubble store. Links are included in the description down below. That's right, I got swag. Swag is in merch, not swag is in swagger. I'm still a nerd. Thanks for tuning in. Bye!